Rory McIlroy released a statement yesterday. And in, uh, he said, yesterday was a tough day. Probably the toughest I've had in my nearly 17 years as a professional golfer. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate Bryson. He is a worthy champion in exactly what professional golf needs right now. I think we can all agree on that. As I reflect on my week, I rue a few things over the course of the tournament. Mostly the two missed putts on 16 and 18 on the final day. But as I always try to do, I look at the positives of the week that far outweigh the negatives. As I said at the start of the tournament, I feel closer to winning my next major championship than I ever have. The one word that I would describe my career is resilient. I've shown my resilience over and over again in the last 17 years, and I will again. I'm going to take a few weeks away from the game to process everything and build myself back up for my defense of the Genesis Scottish Open and the Open at Royal Troon. Okay. Um, he said, see you in Scotland. First of all, nice that he got in the uh, sponsorship plug for the Scottish Open, the Genesis Scottish Open. Also, Rue. I haven't had that in a sports statement, I don't think, in a while. Uh, I rue a few things over the course of the tournament. Um, yeah, I just wish that maybe he did a two or three question interview with NBC and, and then you go. I, I, I understand. It, and maybe this, because I was worried uh, also if he did maybe two or three questions right after he lost, then the next tournament, he's not going to be answering questions because he'll say, hey, I answered those with NBC after the loss. I'm, I'm guessing the Scottish Open is going to be pretty interesting with his press conference. Because, I mean, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. I think he has carried the weight of the PGA Tour and, like, willingly carried the weight against the Live Tour, being the face of the PGA Tour. Tiger's too old, you know, and, and he's not playing every day, every week, big tournaments. Uh, he only plays a couple of the majors. So Rory has to be front and center. You know, it's not Justin Thomas or Jordan Spieth. It's Rory. And I think it took a toll on him. I think there are golf fans that looked at the final round of PGA Tour versus Liv, good versus evil. It was Rory. It was Bryson. And Bryson shined. Uh, personality came through. He embraced the crowd. He had fun with it. He ended up winning. Didn't want to leave. Signing autographs, doing interviews, all of that. Meanwhile, that's Rory, but Rory... Got in his car, left, got in his plane, and flew home. I would like to have seen him do a little bit of an interview there. That's all. Because we're in the content business. That's content. It's tough. You got paid $2 million. I need you there. I need you to say something there. And I think because the media likes him, I think he's genuinely well-liked that may be getting a hall pass on this. And look, I know it's not the end of the world, but I, I just start to finish. You know, it didn't finish the way you wanted it. It's heartbreaking. You give me two answers on that. Just let us know. And you know, what was it like in the scorer's tent as you watch Bryson with that last putt? I, I mean, you're paid to be a professional. You've had a lot of lows, not as many highs since you won your last major. And that's been a decade ago. But... I think you gotta. I think you gotta be front and center, at least with NBC broadcast partner, and you have to. You have to give us something that closes up your round, and it might not be great. Might just be kind of a perfunctory. Uh, you know, look, congratulations to Bryson. Like he didn't stay around to congratulate him. I don't know. They're just little things that I and, and I do like him. I I think he's a great interview. I just. Um, Getting in your car and leaving. I don't know. I think most most of the time we, we ask our athletes and they, they do you know, acquiesce to it. And they answer those questions. It's not easy. I, you know, I, felt, I felt bad for him. But then I just I wondered, could you have done something that people are going to be even more sympathetic to you? And then it felt like there were some people like me who said, well, wait a minute here. Come on. Answer your question and answer a couple of questions here. So he releases his statement. I'm guessing the Scottish Open, he'll have a lot of things to say about it and maybe needed time. 
we have coaches that go and players go right into a press conference after a tough loss, emotional loss. And they sometimes regret what they say in those moments. You know, that cooling off period. And maybe that's what he, he needed because he might have said something, m- might have been really emotional, emotionally fragile. You know, he was getting a divorce, now reconciling with his wife. It's Father's Day. You got your daughter at home. I, I understand all of these things. And I factored all of those things in. I just think Rory being the professional that he is should have done that interview. That's it. And not the end of the world. And, and it shouldn't take away from what Bryson did. And hopefully it doesn't. But I look forward to hearing his thoughts about that. Because we invest in you. When you win, we win. When you lose, we lose. I mean, that's what fans do. If that's your, that's your team or that's your guy. The high, highest of highs, lowest of lows. It's painful. And as I said yesterday, I felt horrible asking Bill Buckner questions about the ball going through his legs. 86 World Series. Terrible. And I felt like I was piling on. But you know what? I, I had so much more respect for him and stayed in touch with him until he died. Like I really, really respected him. Even when they won the World Series, we had him on afterwards. He said, hey, this isn't, you know, I'm coming on. I'm not, I'm not doing any interviews. I didn't win the World Series. So he said, I wanted you to celebrate this, or I wanted people to move on from you. Because people were brutal to him. He moved to Star, Idaho. He said he had to get away because what kids were saying to his son. Uh, Mitch Williams, going in there in the locker room. He gave up the home run to Joe Carter. And he's, you know, they're all there. Everybody's there. And you could see, I mean, it's crushing. Crushing. But they answer the questions. Dennis Eckersley gave up the home run to Kirk Gibson. Crushing. But that's, that goes along with the territory. I'm not asking this of a high school player, even college players. But when you get to the pros, you get paid. You get paid to answer questions. Everybody loves it. When you win, I'll sit here and talk forever. When you lose, like Phil Mickelson lost the U.S. Open in dramatic fashion. Got to answer the questions, which he did. It's tough. It's tough. But that's part of being a professional. Yes, Mark. Chris Webber even talked after calling the timeout against North Carolina. He went up there. And that's got to be tough. Like you just said, a college kid going up there and talking after that type of loss. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. And Chris Webber let down a team. It was a terrible mistake but he let down a group of people yeah. and you always you always say i know there's a team around golfers but you are on an island you're an individual yeah well you know i i hope that he gets a chance to be in position to win another major but we're all going to feel the same way i don't know how he can't feel the same way final day final round back nine lead two shots five to play par out i win the u.s open father's day yeah, Pauline. People are making the joke. It's a lighthearted. It's classic. It's the Irish goodbye for Rory McIlroy. Yeah, I'm well well versed in that. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs>